as God has permitted me to take an opportunity to proclaim the word of God, I'm here today in Nello City to give a word of God. First of all, introduce myself. I'm Reverend Dr. G. M. Beatrice, and I've been servicing in the God's ministry right about 25 years. And uh, I worked as a teacher, and my qualification as is triple postgraduate in secular way, MCOM, MA, and computers postgraduation. And theologically, I am qualified Master of Divinity and Master of Theology, and I'm a doctorate of theology. God has given me all these privileges to have the education. And I would like to tell about my childhood and how I came into the world of God. And uh, my God has really shaken me out uh, from the dust of the sinner's place and secured me in this world. And that credit goes to my husband. And I was totally into the Christian community and normal way, way living. My dad being an army officer, we are brought up from Central School, CBSE School Division. And uh, we are uh, like not uh, very religious going on to one God, okay, he's only the God, but we used to believe uh, Jesus is our God and uh, staying in the throughout the India we never had a positiveness of for the God but when I got married my husband was so positive over the God I used to like feel very insecure when I used to go with him and then he started provoking me with his words and it, with God's messages and then slowly I came into this world and basically when I was into the world of a ministry along with him and slowly as a caterpillar life I came out as a butterfly in colors in God and uh, this is the word which God has spoken to me when I determined to serve for God. And this is from Isaiah 61. He said, Arise, Jerusalem, and shine like the sun. The glory of the Lord is shining on you. And I shared this word of God to my husband. And he said, This is the word God is blessing you with this almighty power and pouring out his light on you. And you will never be in the darkness. And wherever you go, the light will shine. And and at that time, I did not understand what is it. Now, at this presence, I understand what is light and what is how it is related to my God. And I feel right now very confidently that I am a light to show the people who are in darkness to the God. And hello, friends. And today, I would like to introduce my ministry, saying that how I came into the ministry, that is actually Ashray. And God always being a refuge to me whenever I need it, and I feel my God is my ashram or refuge and today I'd like to witness myself that God always was a refuge for my whole family and my ministry and my husband. I would like to wish you everyone a good evening and praise Lord. Today's topic is praise and worship. People think that praise and worship is a commonly done in a song form or both are same. To God's given knowledge both are not same. Praise is something different and worship is something different. And which comes first? Acknowledge you, worship is the basic thing which we should have. And what is worship? Worship is reverence to God, the deepest respect we have for the God. Until unless we don't have reverence for the God, the worship inside the soul cannot be done. And when it is full in your heart and soul, when you have a reverence for the God and it comes out in a form of body activities that is nothing but praise praise is a form of bringing out the worship from your soul to the body activities body action for example i feel god is so great and i feel in my soul god is great but I, when i say from my lips god is great this is praise and when i feel in my heart god is great and i'm not using my lips that is worship once again, let me tell you, when we sing for God, it is praises. When we clap our hands, it is praises. When you jump for God, it is praises. Totally, when you use your body, whatever feelings we have in our soul for the God, the reverence for the God, respect for the God, comes out in the form of body, it is called praises. Now, I think, my dear friends, you must have understood what is worship and what is praise. Here in the world, everyone have worship. They have the uh, reverence for the God and they worship God, but they don't come out in form of praises. And they, especially Christian people, 
uh, they feel praise and worship are same. Yes, no doubt, my dear brothers and sisters, both are same. And they work together, they come as a railway tracks. But when we don't have worship in one line, and praises cannot be on the other line. We have to be, they, they have to be together. The praise and worship have to be together. Then the God will work with us. Let me sing one song and tell you how it is. For example, I don't have soul of reverence for the God when I sing. So I say, what a mighty God we have, we serve. What a mighty God we serve. And it is only a lip serving. But when I sing with my soul and heart and reverence for the God, I close my eyes, I meditate that word and sing, what a mighty God we serve. And the lyrics and this tune, all is from this soul. This is how we work out this ver the reverence for the God which comes out as a phrase. Let, is, let me give you a few examples from the Bible uh, as referred prophets or uh, scriptures. So for the first one I would like to say is Psalms 150, 1 to 6 where David says that God is almighty, God is the uh, creator and God is everything and let me read that verses for you Psalms 150 verses 1 to 6 praise the Lord praise God in his temple praise his strength in his heaven praise him for the mighty things he has done praise his supreme greatness praise him with trump praise him with harps and lyrics praise him with drums and dancing praise him with harps and flutes praise him with cannibals so all this what David is saying is we have to praise God for what he is being with to us he, he said praise in his temple praise him he is in heaven praise him with harps praise him in music praise him in songs so all that can be done with the reference you have for the god and that in the form of all you can do that is what david did and this is here the creator he is applauding creator in the, the form of praises then I would come to I would like to come to the second Bible verse is Ephesians where 519 says and Colossians 316 says we have to address ourselves with one another in praises and psalms. Ephesians 519 it says addressing one another in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody to the Lord with your heart. He says whenever we meet our fellowship Christians, we have to sing psalms and then worship Lord. That is how we need to praise him. I would like to go for the second Bible verses, Ephesians 5.19, where he says that we have to address each one of us in hymns and songs. And the, as the first scripture reading I said, David was worshipping Lord in songs and hymns and he was praising God. Now second scripture reading is that we have to address ourselves in hymns and songs. And the third scripture reading I would like to say that Colossians 3.16 where he says that whenever we are into the worship and praising God, we have to love one another. As we love another, we have to love our God and that love should pour on on us. And when we are together in God, this will work out and the dwelling of the Christ will be upon us. I'll go to the fourth scripture reading for today is John 4.23, where he says that whenever we are worshipping, we have to worship with holiness and truth. And what is holiness? Holiness of heart and soul. And what is truth? Truth is nothing but Jesus. So when we worship Lord, we have to have the holiness of Holy Spirit and the truth of Jesus Christ. When we have the reverence for the Lord, this too, when it works out with, within us, the worship comes out in a form of beautiful praisings. And that will go into the Lord's observance and that God, Lord will dwell in us. In us. God's presence will be with us. And people who are listening also will enjoy the presence of the Lord. I'll come to the fourth scripture reading, that is Hebrew 13, 15, where he says, We have to have a habit of continually praising the Lord. The worship or the praising we have to do in our life continuously. It should become a habit in our life. This will create us to come out from the problems. For example, sometimes we are in a sad mood. And then when, when you have a habit of praising Lord every day at times, so we forget what is our sadness and what is our depression. And we can take that into our conversation. And when you sing for Lord, we praise the Lord, we feel very happy. And there is no depression and sadness uh, longing on in us. So my dear friends, make praise and worship continuously in your daily life. 
I mean to say, make a habit of praising God every day. This will reduce all your problems and depression, and joy and solace will be there in your soul. Praise and worship can be done in silence, in song, in words, in form of raising your hands and bow down. And sometimes people jump out with joy, like David. And it enthrones when we give out the worship in the form of body. It enthrones the area, and the God is there always. And He's He. Uh, it's a great way to get rid of all the uh, secular problems in our life, and it gives a joy which is out of the way, which is lifting us to the heaven. And that is what in praise and worship we we get the. honor for the lord and one more thing i would like to say dear friends don't sing praise and worship just out of lips it is my advice sing with your soul and truth involve yourself with god have reverence for the lord and then feel the lord's presence and feel he is in front of you and then he is seeing you have the respect for him and then you sing then song will have that song or the prayer in the form of prayer and in the form of word of god whatever maybe you are doing your worship in the form of praises comes out fruitful so my dear children in christ take this message to your heart and now onwards try to sing in such the lord is in your midst and feel the lord and let others feel the lord from you that is a true worship and praises it is all praise and worship the lord May God bless you. Scripture reading where he says we have to please the Lord. That is Hebrew twelve twenty eight. He says when you continually praise and worship Him, God will be pleasing. You will be pleasing God. When you please God, everything will be given to you. Worship and praise and worship is not for us. It is to please the God. How holy and how a uh, truthful we are to Him. And that have an account in Lord's books. And I come to the next scripture reading is Psalms twenty-two three, where he says, wherever the praises are being done, yeah, wherever the praises are occupied, it it enthrones the heaven. So God, where praises enthrone, it means it is higher. in your level so you uh, every time you pray when whenever you do pray praise and worship god enthrones how great we are and uh, now i'll come to the last version is psalms 95:6 where he says come let us worship so all together today's uh, message i would like to say worship and praise is not the same as you think my dear children it is different worship is reverence for the god you have in other words deepest respect for the lord we have and that respect we may have in words saying that my lord is good but you don't say from your lips and you say what a mighty god we have and that is in the song form we have in your heart but you don't sing for the lord and we feel god has done so many things great and i want to uh, overjoy and the joy comes that doesn't come out in your in the form of claps when you clap out of joy it is a praise so don't keep reverence in your heart saying that i worship my lord that is good but the worship should come out as a praises to everyone and god likes the praises and worship and praises are together connected and so come let us praise the lord for what he is for he is the maker so we need to praise him and worship him for he is a creator he is the maker he is almighty he is the lord he is a refuge and he is everything for us and he has given it totally uh, life for us and as romans 14:11 where paul says every knee has to bow down shall we all bow down our knees and give give worship to him saying that yes master we give worship and praises to you and uh, father th- this is how you said that in psalms 29 2 you says praises to your name and praises to you your holiness yes master we give praises to your holy name and your name that's enough master that reverence when we have in your heart that that itself is a worship and when it comes out from your mouth it is praises let me have one number for you saying that uh, singing for you it is like this when i have worship i just say in a verse saying that 
what a mighty God we serve. 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 This is out of worship. As a singer, as a number, I have sung. But when I have worship for reverence for the God and I have I'm praising God, yeah, my singing will be like something like this. I'll say, Praise you, Master, and I give reverence to you. Let your holiness come to me, and I'm your vessel. Use me for your praising. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God we serve. What a mighty God be serve. What a mighty God be serve. Praise the Lord. And the Holy Spirit is upon us. Right now the Holy Spirit is dwelling in us. And when we sing with the reverence and the respect and the holiness and the truth, the Holy Spirit and the Lord is with us. And it the work when you just spill out, it it is in the form of harvest. No, let us form ourselves and spill the praises to God in a such a way that people are people are uh, the, coming to God, not going out of His uh, area. We should attract people in praises. We have to attract Gentiles with our praises, with our reverence for the God. Our uh, reverences should be not dry form. We should have witness of holiness. Then people automatically will come and attach to us, attach to God. And we are the media and vessels to make a way, a path for the God and the sinners. So let us be a, a good vessels, a holy vessels leading people to God. Praise the Lord and have a nice day. Shall we have a word of prayer? Oh Heavenly Father, thank you for being with us. We have learned today what is the difference between praise and worship. To praise you, we have to have worship in our heart. And worship is reverence to God. There is deep respect for the Lord. Until unless we don't have deep respect or reverence to God, we cannot praise you. Praising is nothing but using our body parts for your worship which you have in your soul. Or let all the children who have heard today, let them praise you with soul, with holiness, with reverence, with re deep respect for you. Let us not sing for themselves as a number. Let them sing for you, our Master, with all your holiness and truth. Let them have fear for you and our Father involve you in their praise and worship. That is where you are dwelling with them and you are giving all your blessings to them. Yes, Master, the praises when it goes up, it comes down in a form of blessings. Let all the children who are listening this praise you and get the blessings from the above, that is from you. May God bless you all with good praise and worship thoughts. I ask this prayer in the precious name of Jesus Christ. Amen.